So you know what that is? Well, I'm about to replace this thing. And thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. I'm about to change this, show you how to change this to this, the newer one. This one here is probably original equipment, so it's probably about 15 years old. And this is going to be brand new. Uh, I'm only needing to do this because I actually pushed my light here, or my button here, and nothing happened. Although this light was on, showing that it was good, you hit the button and nothing happens. Also, I had a, uh, um, I came in the RV one day and we had propane smell, and yet this thing was not going off, and it should have been. So I'm going to show you how to do this, because you just entered the Coolest Life How-To Edition. <music> So the first thing you have to do, obviously, is get down on the floor. <laughs> they always say it's 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 easy to get down on the floor. It's a little harder to get back up off the floor. <laughs> but uh, all we're going to do is take these two screws out of this thing. Once I pull it out, I'm going to show you what it looks like and uh, show you what two uh, what two wires we're going to hook back up and we'll slide it back in. It should be an easy job, and you can do it. Because I'm going to do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. All right, let's get to it. So first things first. Anytime you uh, take one of these out. You need to turn the power off. That's the main power. If there's a, still a light here, you need to make sure that you're, uh, uh, you've got an auxiliary power battery backup that's been turned off. But you should get no lights up here at all. Uh, I do have the power turned off. I'm, I took out this screw, and there it is. I took out that screw, and there it is. And all I'm going to do is slide this thing out. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. So, so I'm, gonna, I'm basically going to cut these two wires here. And I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to attach those two wires. Shouldn't be too hard. There's only two wires. At least I hope. I'm going to attach them right there to these. And uh, we'll see how she goes. So on this one, there's actually three wires coming out. But there is this junction box here. You see that there? So I'm going to disconnect that. That way I don't have to work on the floor. I can sit up on my table and do the wiring. And then I'll just plug it back in. Well, just as I suspected, as you can see, this thing here says 2007. Did you see that right there? Yeah, 2007. So yeah, these things... Um, once they go off one time, they don't guarantee them after that. And actually, your smoke detectors are the same. If they've ever gone off because of bad smoke, you're supposed to replace the smoke detector. Um, this one here from 2007, you should replace these, I'd say, every 10 years. Uh, I think that's what the manufacturer says every 10 years. They should be, that's what, just check GCI controls here. They're a maker of, they make so many of these. Now I say they make them. They're the main people. Uh, it says they're out of, Southgate, California, but this is probably made in China. They probably ship it in and put their labels on it as so many different companies do. We're going to put a new one in here, which is from Safety Alert, as you can see here. And this one's from October 2022. So this is very recent. So, all right, let's get this in, in place. So what I did here was um, I took one red and I capped it off. And I connected the other red to the to the red coming out of here. And then of course I connected the black. And right now when I did that, it nothing happened. So I swapped the two reds coming out of here and capped the other capped the other red off. So I basically I disconnected here and then I capped it, which is this one. And then I took the other red that was not capped and put, put those that red and this red together. And then when I did that, my green light's coming on. It even says right here, green light on. So I don't have any kind of faults or anything else. It's just showing me that green light is beeping. That one's only beeping because it's coming from this one here up underneath this plastic thing. Is why, as you can see, light inside this crack too. But anyway, it's this light here that is green that's, that's blinking. So now I'm going to unplug it one more time. I'm going to unplug it from there. And then I'm going to take some uh, electrical tape and I want to secure these to make sure that these don't come off. So just like that, I uh, took some more tape and uh, some some uh, electrical tape and electrical tape the uh, the caps because I don't want them sliding off at all so Once I put it back inside this hole I don't want to have to do anything else or go anything or worry about it slipping out or touching anything else But uh, I put electrical tape all over all of these so I'm you know I feel good about touching them like that even though there's power going through them because I got them taped up good so what I'm gonna do is slide them back in the hole and and uh, put this put this box cover back on and there you go, right back in there where it needs to be. By the way, that uh, I pulled the old one out and it said to change them every 60 months, which is five years. So, uh, okay. 
sometimes you think that uh, when they do that, they just want to sell you more. But uh, who knows? Maybe maybe they really should just do that. I mean, this is a safety feature. These run about $84. So uh, it's, it's not too bad of a peace of mind right there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, a little bit of how 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 to some DIY. I got some more coming up. I think I may do one about the putting some stuff about my lights if I ever figure out exactly what's wrong with them. Got a problem with my, my lights up top. But that's for another video. But for this one here, we'll we'll let you go. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, send us to your friends who might uh, be wanting to do some, some DIY. This is very easy. If you're buying a used RV, if it's going to be 10 years old, check those things. Just go ahead and pull it out. Check the date on the back. You saw how easy it was. Buy you a new one and just replace it. And if you think it's working, just, just replace it. And uh, especially the... Uh, um, smoke detectors uh just if, if it's five ten years old just just replace them um it's not worth the risk especially as cheap as uh smoke detectors are sometimes you can go to your local fire department they'll be having giveaways for smoke detectors and they'll actually give you one and the ones you use in residential are the exact same ones that you need in here also um let me say one thing about smoke detectors uh get two if you've got like a 36 footer like i've got you know get two put one up toward the front near the kitchen and put one in the bedroom most RV uh, manufacturers, they'll put one, and it's normally in the kitchen area. Sometimes it's in the hallway type area, but get two. <laughs> get two. And the other thing I always recommend when, I, when I'm talking about smoke detectors and safety is uh, most RVs, they come with a, a, a fire extinguisher, and it's up near the front. Okay, so what if you're in the back bedroom and this fire breaks out in the kitchen? Now what do you do? <laughs> so I recommend in the back area, back bedroom, back closet whatever you got in the back buy you another fire extinguisher they're about 20 bucks and put you a small fire extinguisher back there that way you got one two in, one in each location to include a smoke detector in each location hope this hope this helps and then gives you some gives you some ideas for some uh, safety tips and um, hopefully you'll you'll be out there and be safe because i need to get back out here living the coolest life how-to edition